fans and collectors, welcome back to another review. We've got the new Black Series Darth Maul from the Clone Wars. I'm super pumped about this one. And again, you guys have to excuse my voice. It's uh, it's pretty run down at the moment. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get through this fine, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, really, really looking forward to this one. Um, I'm a bit bummed that my collection's all away because I'd love to pull out the Ahsoka now that I have Maul to go with her. Um, and yeah, I think Ahsoka should be re-released as well, um, given that it was a, an exclusive um, a little while back now. But yeah, it says on the back here, or again, number 11, it just says, A deadly, agile Sith Lord, Darth Maul, was a formidable warrior and scheming mastermind. He wielded an intimidating double-bladed lightsaber and fought with menacing ferocity. So yeah, we have him in the package. He's got half of his original lightsaber, and that lightsaber hilt, which was originally Asajj Ventress's, um, she wielded that same blade during the course of the Clone Wars, um, as, you know, when she got rid of, after she got rid of her, um, red ones, and, uh, somehow, somehow Maul managed to get a hold of it towards the end, so, um, yeah, if you read the Dark Disciple book, which is about sort of Ventress and Quinlan Voss. Um, all the artwork is depicting her with that exact same lightsaber hilt. So, without further ado, let's open up the figure because this is a this is a good one. All right, here is the former Sith Lord out of the packaging, and uh, yeah, this is a nice one, very very nice. Firstly, we'll get a look at his lightsaber blades. So we have seen these before. I think this these may be new sculpts, though. Particularly this one, obviously we have seen before, but um, yeah, I don't know whether it's, I think it was cast in a red plastic before, um, but could be wrong about that too. Just the whole peg system there looks a little bit different, but the lightsaber blade that pegs in, I reckon it's new. I'd be surprised. It's, um, yeah, again, I don't have the original on hand at the moment to take a look, but here is the other hilt is formerly Sarge Ventress's, which she had it for a little while at least. Um, again, blade is removable. Yeah, during the whole Dark Disciple book, Asajj had this hilt, but she had a yellow blade. But um, that looks like it will so just peg together nicely there. I think it was just Maul's way of creating a double blade for himself again. Well, let's take a look at the figure. So, get a good look at this one. So it looks to be a new head sculpt, which is really nicely done. It's got a little bit of a gritted teeth there. Very excited to have this one in my hand. I love the three and three quarter inch version, um, but this one is just yeah, this is remarkable. They're both both super fantastic. So I'm really really excited to have this one. Um, it's just making me want to watch Clone Wars season seven again. Um, so I think I'll be putting that on this evening. So again, we sort of got the uh, shirtless torso underneath. Just to have. In his new torso there, new shirtless torso. There's a joint sort of in the middle there. And there seems to be a lower joint as well, so that's nice. Just trying to work out. Yes, he has the butterfly joints in there as well, which is killer. So that's really nice. And these are sort of what they've been doing recently is putting the sort of shoulder pads as part of the... Um, hinge system in the, sh in the shoulder, so it allows for a little bit more movement. Um, not restricted by having it part of the sculpt. So he has the neck joint as well, so, you know, heaps of articulation for this one. Again, sort of two just sort of gripping hands. Again, this is said in the last review that I did, that um, Hasbro could go, could go a long way by giving hand options to the Star Wars figures. I think it's a uh, Silly that they haven't done it yet, but um, at least more in the Black Series. So even doing it with Vintage, so. 
So he's sort of standard brown pants at the top, then little pouches there. And he's got his robotic legs, which are just fantastic. They look good. So yeah, you've got articulation there at the top. And you can also, you know, hinge, swivel that there. A reasonably good angle there for the knee, the ankles. And I can't tell if there's a much of a rocker there. I mean, it's not going to, well, a little bit, yeah. Nice and tight joints, which is really good. Um, I'm just looking at, I'm just going to disassemble the hilt here because he does have what looks to be a little lightsaber clip there, but I'm not sure if that's going to hold on there or not. I don't think it will. It does sort of want to peg in there, but no. I mean, it will sort of hold a little bit. You can just sort of see that there. But I don't, it's not a hole that's, that's big enough. Yeah, no, that's... I'm sure there's, I'm sure it's intended to be there like that, but, um, yeah, it's not, it's not deep enough for the hole or, yeah, that might take a little bit of playing around with because it's, yeah, it doesn't really want to sit there with the body, but it's there, um, you know, Mole, you're going to have the lightsaber in his hand at most times anyway, I think, so. Yeah, it's not a big problem there that that doesn't work as well as it could. So yeah, I'm just going to arm him up again. Peg the lightsaber together. Here we have Darth Maul. Oh, he's calling himself Maul at this stage. He's not aligning himself with the Sith. So yeah, awesome looking figure. Loving this one. He looks great. Definitely would love to hear what you guys think. Please sound out down in the comments below. Yeah, this guy's going to get some good poses. I love that he's got the up and down hinges as opposed to the in and out hinges on the wrist. So it allows some really, really cool. He's so good. <laughs> I love it. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you again for another video. We've got one coming up straight after this. So, yeah, stay tuned for that in the next 24 hours here on the channel. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. May the Force be with you.